Well, hello everyone and uh, thank you very much for joining me today. I am Tom Cormier. I am the co-founder of Legacy Stories and the Living Legacy Project. And what we do is uh, we provide free education and tools to help people discover and share their legacies. What we try to do is to get people really involved and active and having fun or at least reflecting and making these main, those big experiences in their lives important and relevant today. I want to talk today about gratitude. This webinar is going to focus on a very personal level than how you'll be able to manifest that into your business, but you haven't run into this that often, and that's what I like to do, come in with something different, new, and fresh. Obviously, you see the quote down there, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. And that's what happens so often. We all have people that we have wanted to express our gratitude to, but for some reason, we never did. I've got so many of those situations. But actually, if you take time to express it now, it can actually change your life. I'm going to show you that. But if you help your clients do the same, it's actually going to change your relationship forever. Okay? Now, there's a, an exercise I'm going to walk you through here, and it's called the Angels and Heroes Exercise. I was so profoundly taken by it when I first was presented it by John Warnick. John A. Warnick, he's the founder of the Purposeful Planning Institute. If you ever have a chance, just write that down right now. You should go there and see what these people are doing. It's extraordinary. Anyways, I was introduced to this exercise. I used their formula and I went and actually put it into action in my own life and in my business really soon afterwards because I didn't want it to fade away. I was so completely moved by this. Uh, it made such an incredible impact. I'm going to share that with you right now. It's an exercise that they developed to express gratitude. Okay, so an angel is the one whose kindness and love sustained you as you have grown, faced difficult times, and personal loss or tra uh, tragedy. That's an angel in your life. A hero in your life is the one who inspired you to aim higher, to strive to be your best, and helped illuminate your path to success. That's the difference between an angel and a hero in your life. And I know that you have many of both of these in your life, and you have had them. The first thing you want to do, and by the way, I have a uh, template that's uh, at the end of this web class. I'm going to show you how to get that, and this comes from the Purposeful Planning Institute's template that they gave me. This is all in like one page or two pages that you'll be able to use for yourself but also it's a giveaway that you're going to be able to give to your clients, your family, and just about anybody you care about is going to want to do this exercise once you understand it. So let's go through it. In step one, you have to choose your angels and heroes. So this would represent a decade in your life. So say from the time you were born up to you were 10 years old, from 11 to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. If you're older, you could do 70, whatever. And then underneath each column, you would write the person, the angel or the hero, that really had an impact. Now, there could be several of them, but less is more. Just choose one just so you can get the experience of having one. So I put a few of mine in here. There are Some of these would apply to all decades of my life. But when I was a uh, child, I was a second of ten, and my older brother Jimmy virtually led me through everything in life, if you could even imagine. He was the most important person to me in that era. I could say so much about Jimmy, and I have, but really, to truly express my gratitude, Jimmy would be one of them. When I was 18 to 20, I was in the Marines in Vietnam, and I had a friend, Steve Ike, who literally saved my life. I can't even go into what happened. And this was a 
a, a situation where, unbelievable, when I say saved my life, I would not even be able to talk to you right now. Because this situation was so profound, so damaging, um, he actually was had to be airlifted out of the scene. And because he was airlifted out, he, uh, you know, I wasn't able to even thank him or anything for it, but he saved my life. He ended up going uh, really crazy, you might say, in uh, having, he has 100% uh, mental disability today, and, um, you know, we try to talk from time to time, but, you know, because it, I wasn't able to really sh say how much I appreciated it, then, all we do is about once a year try to talk on the phone, and I really never really took the time, it's just, you know, talking about old times, I never really take the time to really thank him for that. And so, that is a person who had a profound impact on me. That, my friends, is a real angel in my life. So, and then there's my wife. <laughs> she should be in everything from 20 on. <laughs> She's been with me through the Vietnam War. My father, too. My mother and uh, others. So I just choose, say, one for each of these, okay? And so step two is really simple. Uh, reflect on the following prompts that I'm going to go through here. And there's only three of them that you have to think of. And just write down your thoughts. How did this angel or hero demonstrate their generosity or kindness towards you? I can tell you, it wasn't hard for me to write that down. Once you think of this person, I'm just going to realize you have these people in your life. You may never have really taken the time to say just how much you appreciate them or what they did for you. What do you know about why this angel or hero expended their time, their treasure, wisdom, or their positive emotional energy on your behalf? For the last prompt, what difference has this angel or hero made in your life? Truly, these are people that have made a difference in your life. I want you to write down what these three questions are. And it's in your own handwriting. It's your own way. This is a fantastic document that you have just for that person. And so, step three, the final stage. You see Harriet Beecher Stowe's comment up there? The bitterest tears shed over graves are for words left unsaid and deeds left undone. Ain't that the truth? Right? So just imagine for a moment how reading what you've written might make this angel or hero feel. Just imagine that. Now, you've written this down. You've had taken the time to reflect on it. Now, guys, this isn't an ego thing. This is just, you know it's there. And that's what I'm saying. The, most, the more unlikely a person is to do this, it has even more of an effect. That's how I am. It has a huge effect. It is appreciated so much more. And uh, so the challenge after you have done this in step three is that you actually find time to share what you've written with that hero or angel or hero that you've chosen to acknowledge. Okay? That's all there is to it. Choose your angel. Answer those three basic questions genuinely and then share it with them. It can't get any easier than that. So how could you share this? Well, you could actually write it in a letter or a note or an email. You know, you wrote it down in those three uh, questions in the fields, but you can edit that and put it all into one or two paragraphs and really just let them know. I was thinking about you the other day and you know, I'm not sure if I've ever really expressed my thanks for your friendship or what you have done or whatever. I'll never forget that day. And when, when that person receives that email, you won't believe what it does. Imagine you getting that email. And then you could actually, after you've filled out the actual template that I'm going to give you, you could just fold that up and send it in an envelope and say, I took this exercise, and you were one of my heroes that I absolutely wanted to share this with. And this is how it went. And just let them see it in your own handwriting. And the other way is to schedule a gratitude visit. This is where it's powerful on the um, personal side, but it's especially powerful on uh, a client side. Okay, so I'm going to explain a little bit more about that. So 
what if you went to spend some quality time with your angel or hero? And during that visit, you share or read the reflections of gratitude and appreciation that you've just completed. The impact is huge. Whatever is possible, whatever feels right, just do it. You will always be grateful that you did. I can testify to that. And so will your angel or hero. So what next? This is where we can get into the business and the personal side here. You want to do this for yourself. I'm telling you, you will not believe how good this feels. You know already. You just put them in their decades and just start to look at who might be there. You'll have no problem in coming up, but it's probably something you've meant to do anyways, and what a wonderful thing as a human being to do. Do it for your A-list clients and prospects. Think about this. How much business have you gotten? I know, you know, you've probably sent them a gift at Christmas or said thank you at different times, whatever. But to just take a little more time to actually really show your gratitude towards that person, what their business has meant to you in your life, how by having them as a client, it has given you somebody that you enjoy speaking with, that you really enjoy the benefits that, they, that you see them enjoying, and how that really has affected you personally, getting to know them, but also just how that affects your life and what a difference it has made even to your business and your life. Could you imagine any vendor or consultant or anyone <laughs> taking the time to do that with you? You do that with your A-list clients or prospects, people you've been trying to get on board forever, but they just haven't been able to pull the trigger yet. Just to come at this from a purely human side of your relationship, you will be surprised. This will get them not only more likely to become your client, and especially your A-list clients, are going to be totally reinforce that they are never going to leave you. As a matter of fact, just because of that, they are going to be more, more likely then to refer you as well. I will guarantee that they have never had a consultant care about a client as much as they will care when you just show your genuine gratitude. Okay, Powerful exercise here. You could send it up as a follow-up after onboarding new clients, uh, buyer's remorse. So afterwards, instead of saying, thanks for your business, that's typical, right? I mean, it's nice to get to, you know, thanks for your business, appreciate it, or, you know, maybe you send them a calendar of thanks. But what if you followed up with, I just have to say, I really do thank you for your business. This is what it means to me. This is how it affects my business and how it affects me and, my, and what a difference it has made to me and how much I truly want this to make that kind of a difference to you. It connects you in a way that is beyond any of your competition. Okay, You can see how this can work in a number of things and all you're doing is you're showing your gratitude to them or you're sending them the template saying, this is something that I've found to be very helpful for me, and I think it would be very, very helpful for you as well. You could send to clients, family, and friends just to stay in touch, just as I suggested sending a follow-up with the template itself. Here is something I've found to be profoundly useful and beneficial in my life. I encourage you to do the same. Talk about a value-add giveaway that costs you next to nothing, yet when you give it to them, how often do you get that kind of, either an email or a letter, how would you ever get that? That's how powerful this is. Okay? And all you're doing is letting them know you are different and you are better and you can be trusted and I, you have my loyalty. That's all it's doing. I think that's a pretty good idea. When you give them that, then they are now much more likely to share this with other people. I got this from my uh, insurance man. I got this from my estate planner. And I'm just saying, these people are so wonderful. This has done wonderful things for my life.
you can use it as a giveaway to entice leads. Now imagine if at the end of your normal group presentation or your client appreciation event, you shared with them one of your own gratitude exercises and then you gave them that takeaway. And of course, once you have this, what a great way to just let people know, hey, I just heard about this uh, Angels and uh, Heroes exercise. It is fantastic. And here's the template that I used. And then just share it. And again, it lets people know that you care about people's heartstrings as much as you do, or at least perceptibly, even more than you care about their purse strings. And that says a lot. Okay. The truth is, as services become more and more homogenized these days, you have to continually add value to differentiate yourself and to retain clients. It's almost like a race to the bottom. You know, they have this shiny thing, you don't have it, and they'll jump for, you know, there's the slightest thing, they'll jump shit. So it's all about locking in a relationship that is just it's too hard to break because it's at an emotional level. And the greatest value add that you can give will be a value add that touches a client's values versus their valuables, as I said. Okay? So now think about that. Um, and that's what this exercise is going to do. Now I'm going to give you that template at, uh, to download. And what you do is you'll be able to go to LegacyStories.org slash angels. It's simple. It's not fancy. But you're going to love it. But I don't want you to just download it. I want you to actually do it. Watch what happens. It's going to take you a few minutes. But as you do that, you'll see the therapy of the whole thing. So I hope you enjoyed that. I do want to show you one more value add. And this is a free giveaway that costs nothing, but it has a huge value add with it. I don't know, you may already be aware of this, but we just launched the Legacy Cafe podcast. Now this is free, and it is the kind of thing that every human being should be listening to because it's the only one of its kind. We keep these 15, 20 minutes of just potent, fantastic subjects on all things legacy. And here are just a few of them that are up here. We just got them going. We probably have five or six of them out there now. We plan to do them about once a week. But you can listen to them on demand. We cover everything from what is a legacy, why should we care, these are the fundamentals. What are legacy stories, why bother collecting them? And all those family pictures, what do you do with them all? Boomers and legacy, do they think differently? How do families, uh, how does family history fit into your legacy? And can you be a philanthropist if you're, if you're not rich? Well, you can. And again, that was uh, John A. Warnick was uh, the person that did that interview. Which, by the way, he does talk about the values, the heroes and values template. Fantastic material. So what you do to go to the Legacy Cafe podcast is you can just go to LegacyCafe.org. This is our sister site. And you'll get information there. So I do want to thank you. I hope this was useful for you. And that uh, if you, if you, it's only going to you know, really show its value to you if you get the template and you actually just choose one person. There's got to be somebody. All right, I, this is my time to do it. Have that experience one time with one angel or one hero. Just do that. Watch what happens and tell me you won't want to do that again and that you won't want to tell everybody you know you need to do this. It's great. When you have that kind of emotional feeling of what this can bring to you, you will want to do it. The more you share that idea with, the more you look even better than you already do to people, okay? So the links are right there, Heroes and Angels. You can go to LegacyStories.org slash angels. And if you want the podcast, that's LegacyCafe.org. And if you want to, and I encourage you, 
where you could and should be starting to think about getting some of those incredible stories that have happened to you in your life. Just take one and say, gee, this is great. Even if it's a story about what this person did for you that you want to express your gratitude for. Because in all likelihood, it was a life-defining moment. It could have been a milestone. It could have been something that truly made a difference in your life. Don't you think that story is not only worth sharing with the person who did this to you, but also it's probably a legacy story that should be part of your legacy portfolio. You have to start somewhere, and it's not something you've got to wait till you're dead to do right now. It's on your mind. Do a story and start your portfolio. And I appreciate you very much for attending this webinar, and uh, short and sweet, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye now.